if I start a vlog on Friday mornings, then we already know that the weekend has something exciting for us, innit? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. What happened to having just normal with Jebu Gary that you can just pour inside water and drink? It was just okay. Well, for the first time, here, do you have any people sitting well? Bye. Bye. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Moninola. Thank you so much for stopping by. Don't forget to check out my older vlogs and do not forget, very important, to subscribe. Thank you very much. So yeah, if I start a vlog on Friday mornings, then we already know that the weekend has something exciting for us, innit? Yeah. Um, today's Friday. I said that before. I'm going to work. Yeah, I'm supposed to be out of the door by now, but obviously, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I have a very exciting weekend and I'm going to bring you guys along and it's a very long one as well. But today I am going to, um, what's it called? After work, my cousin is having a birthday. You guys know if you're on this channel, if you don't know how you see her. So I need to go to town, pick up a few things for her, then we'll go, I'll go to her house because she doesn't want to celebrate and we're like, how is that possible? Like, how do you, like, what do you mean you don't want to celebrate? So, we're taking celebrations to her house, yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, that's that about today. Um, I have a Manchester trip to do this weekend, a very quick one. Going for a Dick Legold concert, it's quite exciting. That concert, they, they have postponed it since, they were, it was supposed to be in November, and they postponed it to February. Thinking about it now. I was upset at that time, but it's okay, it's okay. I just couldn't be bothered to ask for my refund, to be honest, because refund process in this country I'm not about to do it, so I just said I wait and yeah, the concert and um, yeah, I think I have a shoot in Manchester, but we'll see, we'll see that one that shoot has been moved ten times already, so I, I don't want to tell you guys about it now and then it's not happen. But yeah, that's also I'll speak to you guys later. Bye. Mm -mm. That was so aggressive. Bye.
day. Like around what time? Like one something. Like we're just watching movies and just just seeing. Um, yeah, the whole day just passed. I want to show you guys. I probably I don't even know. I think I'll do this. I'll do this like unboxing better on TikTok. If you're not following me on TikTok, please follow me on TikTok. After that, I started posting on TikTok and I'm I'm not even joking. I've tr I'm trying to do twice or three times in a week, and I'm pushing myself to do every day. Let's see. Let's see. Follow me on TikTok, you guys, please. Please take out the two minutes. Two minutes now. You can see the name on the screen, and the link is also in the description. Just click on it and follow. Then let's get this vlog on the road. I'm waiting for you. Thank you. <clears throat> anyway, um, I got some things from TikTok shop, and they're not bad. I bought I bought a few clothing items as well, but like I'm I'm going to do a part of my. I'm trying all there's a try on all coming soon very very soon i'm just waiting for my chain order to come in and i'll just do that try on all i thought it was going to be like a very large one there's some there's some outfits as well that i've shown on tiktok but i'll show you guys again on youtube you know you know you know because i love you guys and i love the i love every community to get their own content you get what i mean <laughs> the community that's not getting nothing these days is instagram it's just stories <laughs> stories and pictures that's what's going to be happening on instagram because i figured out that Instagram is it's just okay. It's not the in thing. It's not what's happening at the minute. Anyway, I got lashes. Remember my last vlog I was complaining about lashes. I got lashes and I got this set. Oh, this thing is focusing right. Yeah, this set and I got this one as well. These ones are like cut eyes. Let me tell you guys, I bought this one for like one pound or oh, both of them like two pound or two pound fifty. And like my thing is just I cannot be buying expensive lashes because I don't take care of my lashes. Like I'm not one of them girls that will like, you know, remove the lashes, take out the glue on it, put it in a case. I don't have time for that. If I remove lashes, I probably throw it away. I probably put it on the table. I put it on the table until it starts annoying me and then I throw it away. So it makes sense to have this one. I bought foam pouch. You guys I'm obsessed. Anywhere I see that they are selling what's it called? Cheap foam pouch. I must buy one at least. This one is glowing with that. I'll show you guys. I don't have any energy for that, but it's really that. Whenever I Whenever I whenever I use that green with that, I will video for you people. Okay, okay. Then I bought pop socket as well because every of my phone pouch has to have pop socket. So I don't put it. It's a pack of four actually. I already put one on this my phone, and this one's worth like one pound because like without pop socket, my hand. I don't want to be showing you guys that. But anyway, and I bought these pulleys as well. It's three in one. They were like less than a pound, literally less than a pound. And this one is the only one that even off me pass. It was like 99 pence. I mean, 97 pence. And I thought I was getting one. These two. So, I'm not washing powder for fast. I don't want to be for them anytime soon. For real. Because, I'm sorry. I have like how many? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so that's five in one pack. Okay. I need all the things I'm showing you guys. But like, yeah. TikTok shop. Um, what did I want to say? I'll show you guys the clothes in the next video, like I said. Also, I don't even know if you guys have seen the review of the 3 in 1 luggage that I did. You should have seen it by now. If you have not seen it, you see it after this vlog. Anyway, um, today is Saturday and I'm going to Manchester this evening. I've not packed my bag. I've not decided what to wear. I have like outfits in my brain. I just need to like sort them out. And I need to do laundry. And I also have a meeting to join this morning. But that's about it to be honest. Good morning, Shawa. Because this Saturday, mommy in Tewale. Because this after you saw me and to buttress that point i need to pack my bag i need to leave this house pack what, I need to pack. what do we need first things first makeup
When I'm down, you pick me up. You and me, we shine it dust. And we won't ever get enough. They don't know. Hi, my guys. So, I don't know how I did it, but I got ready in like four, 15 minutes. Wow, such a babe. Anyway, I'm leaving now. My train is in like 30 minutes. My bag is packed. Trust me to overpack again, you guys. But genuinely, there are things I need. I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but there are things I need. And I have my handbag as well. For my laptop. And I am leaving. I'll check in with you guys. Train station. Or even when I get to Manchester because I'm going to be editing on the train. I'm either going to be editing or be studying one of the two. We need to get the bag up, guys. We need to get the bag up this year. So I'll probably check I'll check in with you guys when I get to Manchester. I'm going to get to Manchester in the night. Like by eight. So about myself is how i like to dare this my camera like i really like to dare this camera like go off then go off because tell me why this thing has been telling me it's going to go off since since what well, since what am i saying since yesterday and i still have not changed the battery anyway good morning you guys so if you also come and ask me who am i talking to i got to office house yesterday and i was too tired i was just chilled and that was it this morning though I am, it's not even morning anymore, it's already almost 12. I'm supposed to meet up with Adetola by 12. We have a meeting, finally. The meeting and the shoot I told you guys about a few weeks back is finally happening. Why? <sighs> Sorry, guys. I thought you were on your call, though. That's why I was like, who are you talking to something like this? But yeah, um, I'm going now. I'm going to eat first before I go. And you guys, I'm finally getting seafood boiled today. People know how long I've been looking for seafood bread in this country. Not like I've had it before, but like I just really wanted to try it. So, okay, now, son, show me. Go on. And now I have to change the setting again. Right. Okay, cool. Oh, nice. I love, I love how this is going. Like, I need to step forward and change the setting every time. Anyway, what's it called? I'm about to eat Akara that Sophie said is not going to taste like Akara. To be honest, like, I've just been through a lot. Because I don't know what the meaning of you, do you want Akara? Yes, okay, it might not taste like Akara. That's number one. Number two, I asked this girl, Do you have Gary? And I asked her, Do you have a drinkable Gary? Because I know Sophie too well. She goes, Oh, yeah, I have coconut Gary. Please, in the name of God, people, what is coconut Gary? She's there, she's laughing in the corner. I don't know why she's laughing because I don't find it funny. What happened to having just normal with Jebu Gary that you can just pour inside water and drink? Do you like it or did you like it? It was just okay. <laughs> I didn't like how Gary was tasting like something with sugar when I've not put sugar in it. There's a problem. <laughs> There's a problem. Anyway, um, today's Adek Legos concert also, by the way. That will be in the evening. Trying to like get the show out of the way, then, then we'll come back and then get ready for the concert. So, yeah. That's all. If you're looking for a wife, She's going to make you freshly made meals every day. I'm sorry. <laughs> that doesn't taste like meal though. Because this akara doesn't taste like akara. But Sophie, what do you mean? I'm just joking. Jeez. Rest. Thank you. You guys meet the two. Hey. Let, let the lady shine alone. Hello. Alone. <laughs> Emphasis on alone. Thank that you. Shine. Shine Thank shine, you very shine, much. Shine. You guys, this is Choma. She's the she's the head and the brains of the team. Yeah, yeah. Adetola, she has sense. Exactly. That's, that's, that's the problem. We like this now. We now. Yes. It is in there. But we it will work it out some way somehow. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Dating show that's about to hit your screens. Yeah, right. But let's continue. We're talking bold vibes, crazy, crazy people, and a whole lot of love. Okay. Mm -hmm. Welcome to this sweetheart safari where we're 
flipping the script on finding someone special. I love where you guys you are like flipping that? the script of finding yeah, someone special. The yes. problem now is me reading that thing when the video is going on. Oh my god. But don't worry, we're gonna sort it out. Then we're gonna sort it out. We're talking bold vibes, crazy people, and a whole lot of love. Welcome to Swiss House of Hey! Hey! You're my girl! You're my girl! We we'll always show ourselves. We we'll always Honestly, show ourselves. What's Swiss House? Anyway. Oh, do, do I do this one? <laughs> Tell you guys in the taxi, but that guy was blasting music, and I was enjoying the music. So I'm like, I said, mm. I'm trying seafood boil for the first time. You guys, the way I've been looking for seafood boil in this country, I've never ever had it before. I think I've said this thing this morning, but anyway, here is the exhibit. Let me shift this here from here. What is this? It's a man. Oh, Mama soul. Yeah, so that about this Uber thing, yeah. Hi vlog, you guys. We <laughs> we're living already. So show your face because you look like the background now. Thank you. <laughs> Daddy baby. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, you guys, we're living now. I'm going to continue vlogging on my phone because I'm not about to carry camera because I know that the chaos that will happen after this concert. Oh yeah, let's go. You're predicting, but I, I, I promise you, it's not going to be as you predicted. Okay, right? okay. I shall be updating you guys <laughs> if it's as I predicted or not. But yeah, see you guys later. Bye. When you come on stage, what do what do they do in the two hours? They have other artists. artists. Yeah.
hi guys good morning i'm already in my house um i got here like a minute ago actually i need to rush out now i have a dentist appointment now i don't know i think i mentioned it earlier in this vlog but yeah, i have a dentist appointment because there's a hole in my teeth and a teeth or tooth i saw that out when i made it see. and um what's it called i'm going to take it out i want to take it out but let's see what the dentist has to say so i'm going there now and i'll probably check on you guys when i get there if they allow me to film but yeah the nerve coming from here can you see this black line yeah this black line goes all so this one has a vital to see if you're going to get the specialist or something <laughs> but generally things are looking good hi guys i hope that my eater is not making so much noise but i'm back home now um uh, I don't think I've had time to like sit down and speak to you guys like this in this vlog. But anyway, how are we all doing? I hope we're doing fine. Um, I, I'm back home. I just I finished from the dentist as you guys saw earlier. Um, I couldn't really film in there, but basically, um, I've gone to check the teeth. I've been uh, let me actually check. Hey Siri, what is the singular of teeth? The singular form of the noun teeth is tooth. Tooth, right. Um, I've gone to check the tooth. So basically, what what had happened was um, they just did an x-ray, you know, checked the tooth, and then told me um, I had two options to, for the tooth. Because I have one, teeth that, uh, one tooth that I've removed on this side. And this one, it really showed me shaggy. Like, it showed me shaggy before I took it out. So I knew... And at the time when I was taking this one out, they told me, I took this one out when I was in Nigeria, actually. And they already told me that there was a hole here um, that was coming up. But I just didn't think anything of it, because to be honest, I just needed to take out the one that was paining me very much that time. So basically, now, um, this one has started to ache. Like, my gum is already paining me. The teeth is starting to ache. I can't, like, drink anything or chew anything on this side. So I only chew on this side, which is stressing this side as well, considering that there's one space is empty. <laughs> anyway, um, I was given two options. Take out the tooth as per usual, or like do a... Yeah, I've forgotten what you called the name of the treatment. Enamel something? Anyway, Isha said it was going to be like a three... Treatment to be three times. So I have to go and come back like three times and what's it called? To save the, the tooth or I just take it out and it was saying oh it's very close to the nerve already and I just thought about I'm like I don't mind taking it out to be honest I need to take this teeth out this tooth out and I'm probably I'm most likely going to like watch look after my mouth like now because it's not funny I'm 25 and I've taken out two tooths already like and like it was asking me oh like um, it was telling me oh my oral hygiene is good so what's the issue do I take sweets and chocolates and things? And I'm like, my bro, I don't even eat chocolate. I don't even eat cake and all those things. But he asked me about fizzy drinks. And of course, you guys know I love my Coke. So basically, Coke is a problem. So like, I need to reduce my Coke. I probably would just, yeah, I'll reduce it. I won't say I'm going to stop drinking Coke. Cause anyway, I'm going to reduce it. And I'm going to try and like rinse off my mouth every time I take fizzy drink with water. But yeah, and they also gave me a prescription just to you know help with the pain when it gets overbearing but um i had to be referred as well because the dentist i spoke to was like oh um the thing don't they affect my nerve because this english is tiring me the thing is already the pain is affecting my nerve the the tooth has affected the nerve that is joining you shall talk it shall but to be honest like this as i'm pressing my mouth is paining me so yeah, um, I'm going to take it out. I'm just going to wait for a call from the dentist he referred me to. He said that one is more experienced and they're going to take it out. Because it's on the nerve, he doesn't want to do anything that will harm my mouth. And if it was somewhere else, like maybe here, he would have taken it out today. But that's fine. That's all right. Also, let me quickly speak to you guys about Amber Student's home. I feel like we've not spoken like face-to-face -face in a while um, about Amber. So basically, Amber... I don't even need to adv advertise Amber again to you guys. You guys know what Amber is. You know what they do. They literally, their one goal is just to make your life easy as a student that's just coming into the UK in terms of accommodation. Um, and 
Amber has made it a lot easy. They have a whole website where you can just go on the website, search the name of your school, find, you know, accommodations around your school, find the ones that are within your budget and work with it. And Amber is like trying to help students save money as well. So if you book early, you're going to get like a lot of money off your accommodation. I'm talking like about hundreds of pounds off your accommodation. Apart from that, you can also earn money. So if, for instance, you booked accommodation to Amber Students Home, and you refer your friend, you can earn fifty pound on every friend that books Amber Amber through you, like that books on Amber through you, which is like I think another good thing. I'm going to mention like some cities that like Amber has a lot of accommodation in at the minute. Number one is Coventry. That's why I stay at the moment. And honestly, there are a lot of sense accommodations in Coventry, and Amber is affiliated with most of them. Um, London as well, Sheffield, Nottingham, Liverpool, Leeds, Glasgow, and Birmingham. Birmingham as well, I'm sure of, and yeah, um, it's just, it just, I feel like it just makes your life easy when it comes to accommodation, to be honest, like, I don't think I should, I need to be stressing what Amba is doing, like, I don't need, I don't think I need to be stressing, and then there's like one-to-one -one support as well, like, the moment you start your booking process, there's somebody that will talk to you throughout your process, like, one person assigned to just you, which makes sense, honestly. And yeah, I've said the 101 times before on this channel, and I'm saying it again, I vouch for them. They're not scam. I know people that booked through them. And when you book through my own link, I see it on my, um, what's it called? I see it in my follow-up. So I know, like, it's not a scam. Nobody's trying to take your money and not give you accommodation. If you get to the accommodation, you have a problem. You can still reach out to Amber and they will sort it out for you. Also, you guys, uh, before I go, um, I got a guy. I mean, let me give you guys a contest. So, I want to dye my hair. I've been wanting to dye my hair for like three or four years now. And I'm just going to do it now. And if it goes bad, I'm going to cut my hair. Like, I've thought about the worst case scenario is it goes bad. My hair starts falling out. And then I'm just going to scrape the whole hair off. Or it's good and we're popping. So, I hope it's the good we're popping. But these are the dyes I'm going to use. I'm going to dye this hair next weekend. Not this weekend. I need to take out this braids first. But I'm using this cream of nature. It's Tascom highly recommended so i'm using i bought i bought three packs i'm hoping it's enough because my hair is full but i bought the um red copper color so this is like copper ginger ginger i bought this two of these and i got one of the honey blonde because i've seen people that usually mix it together because obviously my hair is black so i need some things like yeah, but let's see. Let's see. I'm just gonna use the three of them. I'll mix them together and but like that would be that would probably I don't know if I'm going to make a whole full video about it. It might be included in another vlog or it'll be on my TikTok. Most likely be on my TikTok. So you guys follow me on TikTok again. Good morning you guys. I got a call back from the dentist I was referred to and I am going to take out my tooth tomorrow. And I've actually ended this vlog today, but I'm like, let me just see. I don't know if I'll even be allowed to film to be honest, but let's see. Um, it's currently 10, 10.30. Right now, I am so hungry. I don't even know if I told you guys about the digestion problems I've been having. <laughs> ah, old age, man. I don't understand what this is about. But anyway, so basically, I don't, I don't eat after like 7 p.m. anymore. Because if I eat after that time, best believe the food won't stay down. So the next morning, between morning to like 12 p.m., I will either be throwing up a lot or like, you know, um, using the toilet. Like very bad stomach upset, to be honest. And I was speaking to my dad about it and I was like, oh, I should just try not to. Um, I should try not to eat after 7. And if I'm going to eat after 7, I should try and drink olive oil. I'm not prescribing anything for you people. I'm just telling you. By the way, <laughs> because somebody said, oh, what, what do you mean you, t you asked your dad? My dad is a medical doctor, so yeah. Yeah, some of us, we, we text our doctors, okay? <laughs> anyway, yeah, so um, I, I'm trying to like watch like not eating late till say for just like a month. Let me just see and then if I go back to it and it's too bad, then I know that that's not for me anymore. So I couldn't eat yesterday night. I had just grapes when I was at Fatima's place. So I'm very hungry now and yesterday all I ate was noodles throughout the day which is it's not good it's not good for somebody that's trying to like keep up with their weight I'm really like watching I need to eat well so I'm going to make pasta now I we got everything we need right here wine and burning chemistry you and me
I sound like them? I thought I was going to be able to like, speak to you guys when I came back, but genuinely not. My mouth is still swollen, and I'm literally having gold in one because that's the only thing I can have right now till like tomorrow or something. So it's not my first rodeo anyway, so we'll be fine. And yeah, I've come to end this vlog here because I'm clearly not going to be vlogging for like the next two days. I'm too tired. Like my teeth is aching me. The anesthesia is now. I'm beginning to put the name, the correct name. It has now worn out, and I'm beginning to feel the ache from the tooth being removed. Also, if you want to see the picture of my teeth, the teeth that they removed, I can show you. They gave me, <laughs> they gave me at the dentist um, hospital. But anyway, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Do not forget to share this video with your friends. And I'll see you again in my next one, baby. Not to make carrying please like I'm begging you people, but yeah, I'm begging you subscribe. Until I see you again in my next one, take care of yourselves and have fun. Bye.